Nothing like that first cup of coffee in the morning. Anyway, good morning, makindang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. A beautiful, I don't know what day of the week this is. I think it's Tuesday. I believe it is Tuesday. A beautiful Tuesday morning here in the Philippines. Yesterday, a very unusual day. Uh, we got our first rain, and it was a heavy rain, well needed here, uh, probably in about two months' time. So the yard is loving it. The bluegrass is turning really green after that nice, uh, that nice rainfall. And the plants in the vegetable garden doing really good this morning. I did a lot of weeding in there, did a little bit of cleaning. It's really looking nice. Well, anyway, thank you for all the people that had the comments uh, for name this plant from our last episode. Now, as I do every morning, I'm gonna go inside uh, and I'm going to read this morning's emails and this morning's comments and see if anybody actually was able to guess what that mystery plant is. If they didn't, what we'll do, we will reveal what the plant is this morning and tell the interesting story that goes behind it. Well, let's go ahead and get this morning started. Now, without further delay, Let's get today's video underway. All right, well, here it is, almost lunchtime. What I decided to do this morning, go ahead and work in the yard. So I cut the entire yard front and back, got everything taken care of. I got to do some edging later on this afternoon, but it started raining right at the end of cutting the yard which is like it's it's always a dream that to have everything nice and cut and then the rain comes down and kind of helps promote the grass uh, so next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go over to the raised bed garden we're going to go look at that mystery plant well it's not a mystery for me i know what it is uh, but i checked this morning and there were a lot of guesses. There were a lot of guesses on what they think that plant is. A lot of them had to do uh, with an answer. They said they thought it was jackfruit. I'm gonna show you real quick what jackfruit looks like and, and we'll kind of look over at the plant that we have to see if it looks anything like that. But one of the subscribers, one of the subscribers did write in and he said that he thought I should use this program called Picture This. Uh, so I downloaded it from the app app store on uh, Apple on my iPhone and we're gonna see if it works so we're kinda got, gonna do a, a review on a uh, app that's available on the app store and see if it does what it says basically you take a picture of something and it will help identify what that is let's see if it's smart enough to identify what this plant is let's go look at the jackfruit real quick so you can see what a jackfruit tree actually looks like and then we'll go over to the seedling and then we'll use the picture uh, picture this I think is what the name of picture this app and we'll see if it does it uh, properly if it can identify and if not we'll tell you what that plant actually is now here's my jackfruit tree and it's really healthy it is a beautiful beautiful shaped tree you can see very very nice sitting right next door to my mango my Indian mango over here which is very nice form too They're doing really good pruning on both so anyway, this is what we're going to call the mystery, the mystery plant. And you can see it's kind of has, it has pointy leaves. It doesn't really look like these. These are a little bit pointy. Uh, and it, it could, it's not, not too far off. So those who said that, uh, that this and this seedling are the same, I, I could see where you could probably uh, put two and two together and think that it is. But it's not. It is not a jackfruit. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and take this. We're gonna put this on the porch. What we'll do is we'll grab the app that I downloaded, that picture, picture this app, and see if we can come up with a match. All right, well, let's find the app. I just downloaded the app, and the app is, and we'll be at the end here. Oh, and this is it right here. It's called Picture This. Let's go ahead and open this and see if, looks like it's got a little picture thing. Oh my goodness, so this is not a freebie. I thought it was a freebie. Uh, but it is a seven day, seven day free, uh, free trial. Uh, let's see if there's any catches here. F free trial enabled, don't like, don't pay. So we're gonna hit continue and see what it does. It says, okay, so good. Uh, okay, okay, well anyway. So we're gonna skip, we're gonna skip all this. I think it should be intuitive. So let's identify plants. We're gonna click on this. I uh, know, uh, want to know which plant this is. Okay, tap here. So we're going to tap here. Mm, 
Let's see. No, that's not the plant that I want. I want the camera. I want the camera. Okay, let's access the camera. So we're going to say this. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. On my inside, let's try this. Okay, so what does it say? It says eggplant. No, it's not eggplant. Let's see, is that the only thing? Uh, bittersweet nightshades. No, nope, it is not bittersweet nightshades. Uh, American black nightshades. No, it is not that. And then, no, no match. So, uh, anyway, uh, I, I don't have a lot of confidence. Not a lot of confidence in this program right now. Now, before we put this back inside the garden back here to continue to grow, to continue to get bigger before we plant it out in the backyard, I want to tell you a little story behind I reveal what this mysterious plant is. It's really not so mysterious. Well, it is kind of mysterious because uh, nobody seemed to be able to guess it. <laughs> But uh, this plant was recommended to me by one of our close friends, uh, Emily. Uh, you know Dave and Emily of Balkbine Farming. They have the, the farm down in Rosario. And she asked me when I was back in the U.S., was there some way that I could get some of these seeds? And I'll tell you what this is in a moment. So I did some research and I actually found this on Amazon.com. I found the seeds for this on Amazon.com. They didn't get good reviews. As a matter of fact, most of the people that reviewed it said uh, all of the seeds were a failure and they weren't able to get any of them to grow. Uh, so uh, I went ahead and ordered it anyway just to try because maybe somebody uh, planted them incorrectly. They didn't germinate them properly. They didn't, they didn't have enough patience to see it through. So I decided I want to try it myself. So I put the order in. And lo and behold, uh, the, the seeds that uh, I thought were coming to me took a real long time, uh, a real, real long time. I'm talking about like two months. It took about two months. But I didn't know when they arrived that they were the seeds for this because I will tell you how it arrived. The seeds came to our U.S. address uh, and it seemed like it was coming from China. I think that's where the original, the, the origin of the seeds, or someplace over in Asia. So I waited and I received something in the mail. I received a packet, and believe it or not, the packet came from, <laughs> it came from the Philippines. Well, I decided after a while, I, I stuck it inside my suitcase. I, I brought it here over to the Philippines when we came over. So I planted all of them. So out of the 10, this is the one that grew. This is the only one that grew. And uh, when I went back and I compared it to what this plant looks like on uh, the on Google, uh, this is exactly what this plant plant is. So I, I'm going to stop the mystery. Uh, this is actually uh, uh, da 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 da. This is actually uh, pow pow. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's how you pronounce it here in the Philippines because a it's ah ow ow like pow pow. So a uh, pow pow paw paw or pow pow. I don't know. Uh, but this is, a, and what it is, it produces something that looks like a mango, uh, but it has the taste, I'm going to say the, the taste of uh, between a combination of banana, mango, maybe a little vanilla, and a citrus taste. A very interesting combination. Uh, so I have this one growing. I, I'm so happy that this is growing, and we're going to baby this one plant. Now, the bad news is I need, <laughs> I need a six, second pow pow because these are not self-pollinating. These need a second plant to, uh, to pollinate to, for you to be able to get fruit, according to the experts. So uh, I have to find another pow pow plant. So we're going to try this again. Uh, I don't think I have any more seeds. And when I went back to Amazon.com, they don't have them anymore. There's none in stock. So this is going to be a lone plant growing for a while without a partner that it needs to multiply and make make fruit. But I'm, I'm really psyched about it and we're gonna to continue to plant it. You see these other little things inside here? I have a habit of putting one plant inside a pot and adding some other little plants with it. I don't know what these are either. I, I don't know, we'll just let it grow and we'll put it in another pot and see what it actually is. It was something in my little seed arsenal. Okay, so the mystery, uh, pow pow. That's what we have right here. Um, and we'll continue to watch this. We'll track it 
and makes a very nice, uh, very small ornamental tree as well. So what did we learn today? Well, we learned that I have a pow pow plant that probably won't produce anything until I get a, uh, a mate for it. Uh, we also found out that, uh, picture this, couldn't identify this plant. That app is probably going to be deleted. Uh, but all in all, uh, it was a good day. I'm going to continue to work back here inside the raised bed garden. I'm going to do some more cleaning. Uh, oh, it's sprinkling. Maybe after the rain stops. And if not, I'm just going to chill out in the house today because it is stay at home day. <laughs> like it was yesterday. Like it will be tomorrow. Well, anyway, hopefully you all are staying at home and you're making the best of it. Uh, finding whatever project you can around the house just like what I do around here. Well, thank you to all of those who provided such great comments and tried to make the guess of what this plant actually is. Uh, I, I appreciate it. It keeps me busy. Uh, hopefully it keeps you busy watching some of these episodes and we'll all get through this together. So until tomorrow, if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up, please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You will be subscribed and notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well